Okay, guys, I'm here today with Dominic Cruz. Huge honor for me. Guys, two times UFC champion, multiple times defense in the title, right? And the, also, like, the smartest fighter that I ever talked in my life, I think. Uh, Dominic, like, uh, we spent a lot of time here today. And I'm really, really surprised about, like, how you have strategies about everything. Like, you, 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 you don't have one style, right? Like, your style is whatever happens. You have one style for that situation, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 exactly. So for this video here, you were telling like how you develop your style fighting against bigger opponents, right? Yeah. So how was it? How how do you can you share that with yeah. us? Like you, you already told me, but I would love to so have it, you. It's more of like an a, a, an idea than an answer. Yeah. So the the best way that I can put fighting big people is when you look at the root, uh, bigger, taller, stronger, longer guys. They're gonna fight on a straight line because you're so big and strong, it's hard to move and turn. Yep. So think of it as a 1,000 horsepower Mustang, rear wheel drive. And if we go on a straight race, if you're on that line and I'm on this line, and we go in a race and you have a Mustang, and I have a, and I have a um, let's say a Honda Civic, yep. you're gonna beat me. Yep. Why? Because you're bigger, you're stronger, you're more powerful, yep. and we're going on a straight line. Yep. But if you take this Honda and you take your 1,000 horsepowers and my 250 horsepower, yep. and we put it on a road course with twists and turns, yep. who's gonna win? Yeah, you don't know, know. because yeah. the Honda has the front wheel drive and it can turn and it can yep. move and it's not just going straight, you're turning and twisting and moving. Yep. So what I learned is with big guys your size, if you grab a hold of me, I'm screwed. Okay. If you touch me with your punches, I'm screwed, you're big. If you kick me, you could break my legs or my arms, you're bigger than me. Yep. And if you get a body lock on me, it's over. I'm probably not getting back up for the rest of the round. So the first thing that I learned is all you guys want to fight on a straight line. So the first thing I'm going to do is twist you. So notice, I see which leg you have forward, which means I have to be on the weak side of the body because you're a big guy. If I'm on this side of the body, that's your power side. So I want to stay. Now you switch. That's yeah. So if you switch, now I'm going to go this way. Okay. If you put that other foot forward, I'm going to go this way. Okay. And now what this does is, uh, all I know is now you only have a left hook. Oh, sorry. Yeah, you have a left hook, you have a left, uh, sorry, right hook, a right straight. That's oh, a left, right straight. right straight. You have a kick here, you have a knee, and that's about it. Okay. So one, two, three, four strikes. Yep. If I circle this way, you have all those, yep. plus you have yep. Yep. all those. You yep. see the difference? Yep. So I'm just, by going against a big guy, I'm already gonna stop that by going to, right, by going to the weak side. Now I only have half the, half the problems to deal with. Yep. Now you're chasing me because you wanna kill me. Yep. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna be reaching and you're gonna be looking to hit me yep. with your straight, long shots. The way to do that is getting you to commit one way and then going the other. So if I'm circling this way, I want you to reach with that, and then I make you miss. I got it. And I don't even have to punch you. I can stay safe by just moving and being, my left leg lined up with the, all right, see you brought this one, so now I'm gonna go this way. Now let's say you stand up straight and you decide to talk crap to me and, and flex on me, and you're there. As long as I stand here, I'm good. I got it, because now I can only, I only have one option. Yeah, yeah. and so, but if I stand here, you can grab me. Yeah. Like, like no matter what, any way you're grabbing me, double, you can punch me in. Any, but just right here. Yeah, completely change everything. Just right everything. here changes everything. And you as a big guy know that even with me being little. Yeah, no, like, that's do incredible. Do you feel comfortable here? I feel uncomfortable. Yeah, now if I do this, how comfortable are you? See, you're it's already worse yeah. Yeah. yeah, so this is an angle. See, you don't like it. This is yeah. the angle I try to get to. And I'll keep my head right here. Go ahead and move. Now I'm leading the dance. Now yeah, I'm gonna yeah. come this way. Yeah, that's incredible. Now, now you're gonna come back this way. That's and, amazing. And if you're coming with a punch, I'm under. If you're coming with a punch, I'm under. Now, this all works from starting from this distance. Yeah. So you're gonna throw a one, two. Yeah. You're behind, now you're gonna turn and face. Yeah, Man, that's good. I'm just right yeah. on the edge of you. Yeah. So where you only have one weapon. So even though you're bigger, if you grab me with this weapon, it's okay because I'm here. I got it. But if you grab me with this when I'm here and pull me in to drag, to like let's say you go arm drag to the double. Now we're square, what do I gotta do? Turn. I got it. 
get halfway. Yeah. So you're always like cutting it exactly as you mentioned like about the cards, right? You're always like it's all the same. And you do a lot of faking too, right? Yes. And then uh, can we talk about the cheat code? I like what you just said about faking. Yeah. Stand in your fight stance on the straight on the straight line. Here's the next step. So now you're bigger, you're stronger, you're gonna be reaching to hit me. Yeah. So what if I fake? So if you try to hit me, and move it, go ahead and hit me. See, I'm going the other yeah, way. Uh, yeah, and then you is, slip yeah, in a strike yeah. every now and then. Yeah. Just slip one in. Now I've hit you, and you're just trying to grab me. So I'm yeah. using my speed to make you slow. So you're a big, juiced out G, uh, Mustang GT trying to go in a straight line, and I'm just twisting you in a road course, yeah. uh, hitting you on every turn. And faking. And faking. Yeah. And that's the fakes. These are the fakes. The fakes here. Yeah, I always feel like blinking every time that, you fake. Like. So those fakes take away big guys. It takes away what you're going to hit me with. If I fake, I take what you want to hit me with, and I show it. See, I know you want that. That's incredible. I knew you were looking for that one. So I'll take my head there, and no. I'll take my head there, and no. And now I have the, ooh. Man, that's amazing. That's incredible. And you can just keep going. So with big guys, what I had to learn is, if he puts his hands out, and I put mine out, who's gonna hit first? Him. Yep. So what is the point of going straight for straight with you? Yep. yep. It's, this is common sense, you're gonna land first, aren't you? Yep. So if you're gonna land first, then I have to wait for that. Yep. And use those long limbs as a freeway to get to what matters, which is you. Yeah. So throw a one, two. Now I use this arm. I need to turn around. I use, you through this, and then you through this. And I use this to step alongside and use it as a freeway. Yep. Now do you see how you're open? Yeah. Boom, boom. Yeah. So I'll wait for that one. Boom, boom. And that's how I set it up. Because this is going to come. Yeah. You're going to throw one, and you're going to throw two. Boom, boom. Now I use this long length that was an advantage yeah. as a commitment. Now how is it an advantage now? Yeah. It's a disadvantage because you're open. This is open and this is open. So I used your long length, the offense, as a weapon against you to create a pocket to walk into on the straight line. Man, that's that's it. That's amazing. And you're gonna go right. Oh, by oh, wait, but, but how do you develop this vision? You know, because like, I mean, like, I think a lot of MMA fighters, even Jiu-Jitsu fighters, wrestling fighters, they use having that vision, that that way of thinking. You know, like where where that came from? I understand that was fighting against bigger guys. You explained that, but there's more. There's more. There's something that I think. What what to answer your question? It's you know a lot of people say. You've had the worst luck in the world. You blew your knees out, you blew your hands out, you blew your Dangerous. shoulder out, you blew yeah. your arm out, yeah. you did this, you did that. Yeah. Was it really that big of a curse? Or, you know, or, or could I use it to, to grow? If I'm not actually doing these techniques, what am I using these techniques to thinking. do? I'm to think, because I'm oh, just yeah. stuck like this, yeah. bending my knees 10 times. Oh, yeah. Like how do I- No, because that's another question that we ask you. Like, you're probably one of the athletes that dealt the most with the injuries. Yeah. And you're also one of the athletes that did more like UFC finals, right? Like yeah. defend titles won twice. So it's almost like they go hand in hand. It doesn't make sense. You know, like how, how long you competed? How many years you stopped because of injuries? So so the, so probably like that time that you was you were injured, you were thinking, you were developing all these strategies. So can you so I like your question. And this yep. is where it goes into the next idea. Where the, this is just life. So I get hurt. I don't know what I'm going to do because I can't practice these martial arts. Yep. And the martial arts are my life and they're my love. Yep. I've lost the love of my life. So what do you do when you're that depressed? Has anybody lost the love of their life out there? I have. If you yep. lose the love of your life, you're depressed. So what's the only way to get out of depression is to give. Yep. What, can, what can I give? How can I make, who can I make a difference for? I know this sounds crazy, but it's the only thing that got me thinking. Yep. Cause I'm laying in bed. The only thing I can make a difference for was martial arts who gave so much to me. Who's in martial arts? All my opponents. So what I did is I started saying, okay, let's say you're retired and you could never come back to the sport ever again. Let's say your, your injuries just 
you surrender to the fact that you're done. That's the best you're ever gonna do, Dom, that's it. Now it's, I dedicate the rest of my life to saying how amazing the rest of the athletes in my division are. Yeah, so you were I, talking about that. So I give my heart to the athletes and give my heart to the sport and explain why they're the best and explain all their tactics. Yeah, you are the, the person who understands every single MMA athlete the best that I ever saw in my life. Like, you, I can tell you any name here, and you, I think you describe that person's game better than the person's craze. That's an opinion, and I'll go with it. Okay. And I appreciate that. I, I, I just love these athletes. I think they're the best athletes in the world, and yeah. I learned from them. So the key was to take what they're good at and say, I want that. Okay. But if I say, I'm better than them, what can I learn from them? So you're always picking the best of every single person and, and I give them the it. credit for it. I got it. When was the last time you went online and saw somebody giving me credit for anything? Yeah, it is a it very, doesn't very, exist. Yeah. Yeah. But that's what people are missing is giving and you know, what yeah. they can give. Yeah, and then this is a, was another thing that you talked a lot as well, right? Like uh, doing the, um, how do you call it? Um, unmissable? Being like, what's missing. Being what's missing, yeah. yeah. And what's missing right now is giving I got it. and receiving. Got it. and a beginner's mindset. So I had to move into a beginner's mindset as a world champion to watch the rest of these athletes and give them all the credit and say why they're the best and say what makes them so special. And in doing that, I was able to adopt their own stuff for myself. Man, that's incredible. Yeah, yeah wow, that's incredible. Gift, and I'm grateful to all the athletes for it. Yeah, man, that's amazing. Thank that's you amazing. Guys. Oh, no, just, so just to finish here, so a lot of people that start doing jiu-jitsu or boxing or Muay Thai, they all do to get confident. Right, to, mm -hmm. to learn how to defend themselves. So this strategy that you showed in this video about to fight a bigger guy, do you think they can pretty much implement the same strategy even if they have to fight on the street, for example? So the best way that you can know if you can implement this or not is throw some gloves on a giant guy. <laughs> throw some gloves on, on a giant guy that you know around you and let them punch you. Yeah, that's gonna be fun. And they get to do whatever they want. They get to punch however they want. Now this is a two person drill. One is, what's this guy learning? He's learning how to not uh, lean over, throw a right hand. He's, uh, keep this foot back, and this foot forward. All right. If he throws this punch, he's learning how to not lean over his knee when he throws, like this. Okay. Like, okay. if I make you miss, and you lean, that's bad technique on your part because now you're falling forward. Okay. So this drill is for the partner throwing and missing too. When he's throwing, he doesn't want to miss bad and fall forward and lose his balance and be like looking all silly, right? You want to keep your balance and throw your punches and try to hit me. So how do I, how do I stay safe? Yeah, yeah it's hard. <laughs> At least one I got to get. So you're gonna get me. Yeah. I'm gonna get hit. This isn't gonna be perfect. Yeah. But part of the point is, what weapons do I have to defend myself? None. Yeah. So how scared am I? Yeah. Very. Yeah. So I've, I've executed the biggest level of fear. Okay. What's the worst thing that can happen to you in a fight? Yeah. They can punch you and you can't punch them back. Yeah. So what have I just done with myself? You put yourself in that situation. In the worst situation possible. Yeah. So you practice that a lot? A like, lot. More than not. Uh, that's crazy. Yeah, every I'll, day? It's an everyday thing? Every training thing? Sometimes I'll do it just for my warm up. I'll, I'll grab like an amateur or a female that hits Punch hard you. but can't knock me out and let them unload their combinations and work their and offense. Like, and I do my best to stay alive. Yeah, and after you add that, plus the footwork drills that I have on video, yeah. you learn the footwork drills so you get the cardio. Then you add this to it. Then after you get this drill down, and it's easy to make the miss, and what you really want is this person reaching. Like, see how you're like, yeah. after a while you start feeling guys like, uh, trying to force it. Yeah, yeah. That's how you know you're getting it. And that's where you start finding the opportunities. Now, once you start missing, yeah, that's the doubles will come, yeah. the, the singles will come. Yeah. The high, you'll, you'll start reading yeah. the jab, Double, you'll start seeing it because you're first seeing this. Yeah. You have to see that first. Okay. Once you get them to miss, and you can see it. Oh, that was easy. Oh, that was easy. Oh, that was easy. Uh, right, that's Once incredible. that's easy, yeah. 
Now what's next? The next is, step is easier too. The next step is easier too. Right, that's what we do. But you have to break it down and you have to not look for one answer and you've got to be miserable and uncomfortable and suffer to learn it. Yeah, man, I love it. Yeah. I love it. Thank you. I love it. So guys, uh, we just shot the entire structure for Dominic Cruz. I'm wearing my gloves here. <laughs> and uh, it came out amazing. He shows all his footwork uh, that he used on every match to win the two times UFC champion. And uh, it's going to be at bjjfanatics.com and dynamicstriking.com. So make sure to check that out. And maybe by the time you're watching, it's already there. Man, thanks so much. Thank you. It was man. awesome. So much fun. I love it. I would never let him grab me, though, to be fair. <laughs> Please help me out to grow my YouTube channel. Just click subscribe. And to watch more videos, just click under see more videos. I hope you enjoyed. BJJFanatics.com. Use the promo code YouTubeFaria to get 10% off any instructional video. Improve your jujitsu faster.